Um, okay, let's go to the women's draw now because this draw is stacked. But before we get to that, Adelaide International, it's a, w, it's a WTA 500 event and it's got some big names playing, but some big names have also pulled out. Let's check out the withdrawal list. So, Benchich, she's pulled out. Jabor also pulled out. Both had COVID a couple of weeks ago. Probably the reason why they're not playing this event. Krejcikova, French Open champion, she's not playing. Muguruza also pulled out, not sure why. Ostapenko pulled out as well. And of course, Pliskova, she withdrew because of the hand injury. She's not playing uh, for the next few uh, weeks or months so uh, we know Plushka is not going to play here's the draw we've got eight seeds in this one the top two seeds get a buy in the first round we've got Ash Barty the number one seed she gets a buy in the first round she'll play the winner of Goff versus a qualifier in the second round because and look I told you this is stacked it's stacked so we could be getting Goff versus Barty in the second round which is going to be crazy uh, then we've got Watson versus Tomanovic winner of that match takes on either a qualifier or the number six seed Kennan in the second round and then we got the match of the no no doubt the match of the first round on monday hopefully Badosa versus azarenka the number four seed Badosa takes on victoria azarenka it's a replay or a rematch of the indian wells final and that was one of the me best matches of 2021 so could we get a repeat of that on the second or third day of the year potentially we've got to watch that one right winner of that match takes on either hon the australian wildcard or kvitova in the second round and then we've got Alexandrova versus Fernandez. Winner of that match takes on either a qualifier or the number five seed and defending champion, Igus Fiontech. I mean, these matches are crazy, right? We could be getting Goff versus Barty in the second round. Uh, you know, Fernandez versus Fiontech. Crazy. Kvitova versus Badosa. Uh, and then the quarterfinals could be Kennan versus Barty. It could be Fiontech versus... Uh, Badosa could be Fernandez versus Kvitova like this and then the semi-finals anyone who wins so crazy crazy stacked tournament that's only the top half of the draw second half of the draw we've got the number seven seed Rabakina takes on the wild card Saunders winner of that match takes on a qualifier in the first round because we've got two qualities going at it in that first round uh, then we've got another qualifier in this part of the draw taking on Shelby Rogers winner of that match takes on either Zedenshek or the number three seed Sakari in the second round. Then we've got the number eight seed Svetlina taking on Gasanova. Winner of that match takes on either Doi or Kachova in the second round. Then we've got Juvan versus PK. Winner of that match takes on the number two seed Sabalenka in the second round. Now, the second half of the draw is a little bit more open. You've got Sabalenka, uh, Svetlina, Rabakina, Sakari, and then a bunch of qualities. You know, so it's a little bit more open, I would say, and probably a little bit more predictable. But then again, Nothing's predictable on WTA. Top half of that draw stacked. Ridiculous, crazy. First round onwards is just nuts. So crazy draw. It's a WTA 500 event. Huge event on the WTA to start the season. And it's got the best players playing. Could have been a lot bigger with Muguruza and those players pulling out late. But it's exciting. Adelaide's huge. I'm leaning towards Sabalenka winning that one just because she's got an easier draw than someone like a Barty or, uh, or like a, someone in the top half of the draw. But look, you know, maybe Sakari, maybe Svetlina, you know, maybe someone like that. Or maybe, you know, Badosa, a few of you said Badosa might win it. Uh, but let me know, who do you think is going to win this one? I'm going to go with Sabalenka, but very tentatively, because I don't trust WTA tennis at all.